Welcome back to my channel, folks. In my last video, I built and did a demo of this here, the HCTT from Landscape. Cool little gadget. And I got um, some questions on it, so I wanted to make this video to answer a few questions and also show you some more of the functionality. Um, I learned a lot just by playing with it, but um, at its most core, it is a human-controlled tape transport. That's actually what HCTT stands for. But if you turn this knob, it will play the tape. There is a tape in here. So you can hear. First thing you notice is how bad you are at turning a knob consistently, because as you can hear, kind of marbles. Of course, you can go backwards too. Get some cool effects. All right. But um, one thing I didn't talk about in the video, it has these two knobs up here. So what these knobs do is it has a little preamp inside. And this knob boosts the bass frequencies and this knob uh, boosts the gain. So um, they actually give it a very analog sound. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I turn this, it's kind of how the tape sounds. But as I give this a little more gain, you'll hear, number one, you'll hear more tape noise. But you also hear it gets just a little bit grittier. Let me crank it up a little bit here. You kind of get some grit, almost like some natural overdrive happening. So that's kind of a cool circuit that it has built in there. Now, this other side, I'm gonna turn that back down a little. This side's a bass boost, so what happens is, as you turn this, it, a lot of the bass drops out because you're usually turning it faster than it goes. So this adds the bass back and listen. You can hear how much bottom end that puts back into it. Compared to this. Not a lot of bottom end there. This puts a lot of it back. So that's kind of what this circuit here does. And it has an input, and I had mentioned that during the last video too. Well, the input over here, there's some confusion. Does that allow you to record or whatever? No, it does not. There's no recording head in here. It's only a playback head. But what this allows you to do is you can send external audio through this preamp circuit. So if you want to add this little like saturation and bass boost to another signal, you can do that. So you can basically kind of use this as an effect. And let me demonstrate that right now. So over here, I've got my micro brute, if I push a key, I've got it on um, a uh, arpeggiation. So if I push a key, that's what it sounds like. Now, if we take this and we run it through the HCTT, so there's with no boost at all. But as I boost this, we can hear that bass really gives it some bottom end. And then I can add this gain here and really get some saturation. It gets pretty loud when you get that gain in there, but... So, you can basically use it as kind of an effect as well. In addition, it has some uh, touch plates here that I had mentioned, So, but I didn't really talk a whole lot about. So, this one is a mute, very simple, it just mutes. This one adds like some feedback and whatnot, but it's gonna vary based on the frequencies that are around you. So it actually turns your body into an antenna and your body picks up electrical feedback. Now, that works like that. This one doesn't do anything if you touch it by itself, but if you touch it while you're holding this one, you get some kind of little glitches and stuff introduced. So if you're sending a signal through, So they just kind of add little performance tools. And of course, you can do those with the tape as well. So that's kind of how it works. So in addition to being able to be used as an audio source and a um, effect of sorts, it can also be used as a controller. So you can see back here, there are two jacks. This is a CV jack, this is a gate jack. So you can use those to send gate and CV signals to other things. So let's start with the gate. I'll plug this into the gate out, and I'm gonna plug this into the gate in of my microbrew. Now what should happen when I turn this, when it hits a volume threshold, it'll send the gate signal to the microbrew, and we'll hear the microbrew actually sound. So let's hear what that sounds like. So 
So you can hear it kind of sounding alongside of the audio. Let's unplug the audio from here for a second and use it just strictly as a controller. So you can see when it hits certain points, it sends a gate signal to trigger that. So we also have this CV output. So let's go ahead and plug our cable into the CV outlet output. And then we'll plug that into the pitch input of the micro brute over here. Now to demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and put a drone note on the micro brute here. And then we're controlling the pitch with the CV. So as I turn this, we should hear the pitch be affected. Now again, it's kind of hard to hear because of the audio coming out. So let's take that out. So let's also try doing that with the filter. I'll plug this into the filter over here. We'll go ahead and hit that drone note again. And now this should affect the filter. So again, we can unplug the audio and just hear the filter or we can put them together and hear it sort of affect the filter with the samples. So that's kind of neat, go backwards. Now, one thing that you'll notice, the output, once you get this gain cranked up, the output might not match what you've got over here. So you might have to do some levels. There we go. So that's kind of an idea of some of the things that you can do with it to kind of integrate it with other stuff. But it's really neat just in and of itself. Now keep in mind, it does come with this tape of samples, which I'm playing right now, but any tape will work with it. So I have here, here is a tape of uh, Gregorian Christmas chants. So let's just put this one in, kind of a random thing, but okay, so let's hear what this one sounds like. Really warbly, all those voices. And once again, we can integrate the CV over here with the micro brute. I don't know what key this is in, but let's try it. So, that, so there it is, that's the HCTT from Landscape. Some of the things you can do with it, cool little gadget, easy to put together, build, fun for your, uh, to, fun thing to add to your setup, there you go. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button over there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.